Get out, it's Rob here again. Well, in that last few, couple of videos I did, I showed how I was making up a little generator from a PC computer case fan. I, just, I gutted that and made a little windmill out of the blades and a little fan, and then I made a little generator out of the coil pack, and it works okay, and it lights up from LEDs which also got scrounged out of the old computer case. And uh, Bill Bang has gone to me and he said, you know, you want to try those LED strip lights that he used in his um, Star Trek spaceship video. And apparently, you know, they're, they're pretty cheap and they're down at Woolies, big W, and you buy a strip of them for eight bucks. And you cut off what the length you want. And I thought, mm. Sounds interesting, so eight bucks, not much. So I went down to Big W to get one, get a box in the party aisle, where, it's where all that stuff is. Haven't gotten any sold out. So I was looking at what else they had there. Had a few other different sorts of things there in that line. And they had these. And these are 30 LED copper wire string lights, and they're LEDs on copper wire, which would be even better because you could sold that pretty easily four bucks so yeah they're half the price bargain maybe so I look on the back at the spec to see what sort of it says about voltage and it says it takes two double A's in the battery I suppose, I suppose there's a little battery box in there and but it doesn't say what the actual voltage is for the lights and another one I saw which had like a bigger bulb, they had the voltage as 5 volts, but that could have been for the whole thing. Anyway, 4 bucks is nothing, so I bought a box of these. And once again, now these could be good for model making for lights and, uh, you know, if you've got model railways and you want to light up, you know, little scenery, scenery things that you make for your railway track and... Yeah, they could be super handy. So anyway, I'm going to check them out. So stay tuned and we'll see what's going on. It's party time. some instructions too. I might read them. Could be some interesting information in there. Uh, best summarised as bloody useless. Get rid of that. You get a battery box. Ah, three volt DC. Three volt DC. That's what you want. That's what we want. So that's the same voltage as the computer case LEDs. Hmm, interesting. I'll try it out first with some LE with some uh, AA batteries. Got plenty of those around the place. We'll see what it looks like lit up and then I'll try butchering it. <laughs> Alright, we've got a couple of any loops. And we'll stick them in here. It's got a little switch on it. Stick them in this thing. Oh, it's got a screw. Let's take a screw out. Hmm. 
Oh, 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 heavens to Betsy. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? They had a light up like bloody Christmas time. They're all over the place. Right. I'll turn off the overhead fluoro and do them justice. That's cool. That's really good. So that's that's uh, three volts triggering them. Mmm. They got lots of possibilities, haven't they? I didn't get what Bill said. I think these are going to be better, actually. These look pretty bloody good. Four bucks. How can they make it for four bucks? I mean, that's bloody unbelievable. Unbloody believable. All right, you've got to unwind them from the this end. The, uh -huh. It's interesting. I mean, copper wire, but it must have a varnish, a clear lacquer coating on it to stop it shorting. You know, as insulation. So. I'm going to uh, use my adjustable power supply and hook into the very last light to see what voltage I can trigger it with. How many volts do we need to run just the one of them? Okay, I'll get the power supply and we'll We'll check it out. So, we're on two volts. Now I just scratched back with Bill's knife some of the clear lacquer that's coating on these. And so, you know, these are eminently suitable for soldering. This is really good, you know. So we'll uh, wind her up. Oh, I won't. See when the lights come on. There we go. 2.55 is when it starts to trigger it. And then it's party time. <laughs> so 295, 3, 3.05 is full brightness. Oh no, hang on. Oh no, we can go more. 3.35. 3.45, I won't go anymore, you might cook them. But they've certainly got more than enough voltage ability than that little generator I've made to put out. Yeah, 3.5 is about it. They certainly work damn well, don't they? Yeah, I really like them. They're good. So when you do hook up the, uh, the lights, even though they're switched off on the battery casein and the battery's taken out for some reason they still light up the whole string hmm interesting I didn't think it would have because I thought that would be an, an open circuit at that end but I don't know what they've done but anyway so the plan is to use some of these as little street lights on that wooden base of the jenny so Put a couple of vertical risers in there and then string a few across like uh, like street lights. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So that's the next step. But for now, this shows you what you can get for four bucks. I think it's an absolute friggin' bargain. I mean, yeah. Thanks, Bill, for pointing me in this direction. These are exactly what you want for this sort of work. They put out a decent, voltage, a decent uh, amount of light. 
whereas the uh, the little LEDs out of computer cases they're not meant to be too bright otherwise they'd be distracting so they're now they're nowhere near as bright as these are for the same sort of voltage so yeah awesome so there you go Mirabella four bucks big W yep I tell it then and get yourself some because I think uh, that'd be great for model trains and uh, you know sceneries to go with those and Bill's uh, spaceship and anything where you want a bit of low power illumination and no heat cold as, cold as anything whoops there you go alright tell them it's time to go so that's it for now I'll see you next time cheers